In this video, we're going to show you how you can run a CI-driven scan with GitHub Actions and Burp Suite Enterprise Edition. Now you can see in this repository, we've got a few files. We've got our workflow configuration file, we've got a configuration file for the scan, and we've also got a recorded login JSON file. If we take a look at the workflow file, what you can see is we've got a few things in here. And one of the most important things is this write check permission here. Without this, you won't be able to see the results of the scan after it's completed within your pipeline. So it's really important that you include that. Now, after you've checked out the code, the first thing we're going to do is run our GitHub action that we provided already in the GitHub marketplace. And all we're saying here is that we're going to use our URL and API key that we provided through secrets into the pipeline. And we're going to use our config file as we've got in the repository here. After we've done that, we're going to upload the scan log in the JUnit report from the scan artifacts that are outputted and then we're going to publish the report file from that scan straight into the actions and outputs so that you can see those results. Now, if we take a look at the config file for the scan, all we say is we've got the correlation ID, start URLs, and all of this information, which is the same as what you can set in the enterprise console when you run a scan. And we also have the reporting section, which says that when we have a low severity issue with a firm confidence, we're going to fail the build. Now you can set lots and lots of things in here. If I go to this GitHub repository here, which is accessible through our documentation, what you can see is absolutely everything that you can set for the CI-driven scan. I'd recommend you go through this in your own time from the link that's on the screen so that you can see yourself everything that you can set. Now, if we go back to GitHub and if we go to our actions and we run our, uh, our workflow here, we're gonna kick off a new workflow and then I'm just gonna refresh the screen and we should see it popping up here. And if we go into the action, once everything started and the runner's picked up the job, you can see here that once all the configuration has been pulled in and loaded, we're going to start the scan very soon. And if we go over to the Enterprise Console itself, if we go to our scans, you can see here that we've got a new scan starting, and you can see this was started by a CI-driven scan. So if we go back to GitHub and we go to a build which was already completed before, and we click into it, what you can see after the scan is completed, when the logs open, you can see here that the issue threshold was breached and we're gonna exit with a failure code. And now because we've published those reports and because we've got the right permissions, you can see here the tests that were run, what passed and what failed. And you can see here through the annotations, all the vulnerabilities that we've detected. And as well, if you go back to the enterprise console, you can see all this information in greater detail. So that's how you can run a CI-driven scan with Burp and with GitHub.